Hey, what's up everybody? Tom here. And today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a quick look on how to use the beauty retouching inside of Resolve. Um, so basically when you download this, you're gonna see these three folders plus these two tutorials. Um, and this one is the Resolve tutorial. Resolve, very straightforward, right? Um, you're gonna notice Premiere Pro has four presets and Resolve has six. These full frame, unfortunately, do not work inside of Premiere. Uh, just because I do think that Resolve is a little bit more robust in terms of its features and functionality and the sort of coloring retouching world. So these two are an additional that kind of tap into some of the features that Resolve has that unfortunately Premiere Pro doesn't have. Otherwise, these four perform identically in Resolve and Premiere. These two are just a bonus. So um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, basically, yeah, you have these you know folders. This stills folder um, basically is just kind of a reference. If you just were curious on like what these were looking like, you can kind of toggle through um, before applying them to your footage. Um, just threw them in there for bonus, but yeah, pretty much all you need to know is these two folders. So for Resolve, pretty straightforward. Um, basically, once you're inside of Resolve, let me boot that up real quick. So yeah, we're in Resolve and we are in the color tab. Um, so basically, I'm only gonna be kind of covering how to apply and import in this color tab. Um, if you're editing in Resolve, you would obviously be in this tab and working on your cut. Um, but yeah, for the sake of this tutorial, this beauty retouching is applied in this color tab. So if, this, if your window does not look like this over the bottom, just hover over this color icon and you'll be here. Um, and yeah, pretty much I've got the node tree and I would recommend when you're applying the beauty retouching to apply this on your final node or near the end of your node tree. So basically, um, I've got basically one node currently, just applying a little bit of a LUT and a look, and then I'm going to hit option S on a Mac, and that's gonna create an empty node, which we will add the beauty retouching to. But first things first, we need to import the beauty retouching. So if you kind of scroll over to the other side of the screen, you're gonna see stills and power grade. Stills is basically where you can drag these. I'm gonna just drag these right into stills, and these uh, basically these uh, beauty retouching looks or presets will stay in the stills tab as long as this project is saved. But if you say next week, move to a different project, you're not gonna find these in here. These are just for this project. So I would recommend dragging these into Power Grade. Power Grade is basically kind of like your presets tab in Premiere. These will follow you from project to project. So I'm gonna be working on this Power Grade tab, but just know that the Stills tab works the same. Just when you close this out and open a new project, you're gonna have to re-import them. Um, so with the Power Grade tab selected, I'm gonna also select this third node, which as I no mentioned, is a totally empty node at this point. And I'm going to add the first one. And I also just wanna note these stills that you're seeing in these three of the girl and this couple right here, when we built this preset on our end, we were using footage that obviously you don't have, which is totally fine. Uh, just know that when we built these, Resolve is recalling the thumbnail of the footage we use to build this preset. So feel free to totally disregard. Don't let the thumbnails uh, throw you off. It's basically just Resolve trying to reference the thumbnail of the footage we used. So anyways, with the selective simple selected, I'm going to drag that over. You'll see this green plus and I'm gonna let go. And now pretty much that's it. Y'all see uh, if I kind of click on this number in the lower left-hand corner, you can toggle this off and on. And yeah, I mean, very simply, it's just retouching the skin. You will notice other parts of your image will also get softened slightly. Uh, we found if it just only targets the skin tones, it starts to feel very like artificial, like an Instagram filter. So you're gonna notice some slight softening elsewhere, but the target and focus is skin tones. So yeah, before, after. Um, so yeah, that pretty much wraps it up on how to use this beauty retouching inside of Resolve.